Hello everyone, in this video you are seeing this animation which I have created using python pandas and matplotlib to represent the coronavirus spread in the world. So I have taken this dataset from kaggle.com and then I am using Microsoft Excel VBA to convert this data to a format which I would be using further to plot these curves. Right, so for data manipulation I am not using python pandas but I am using excel vba. So this is the output format which I am expecting. I need country, I need date and count. You see that here in the input format I have data like this that for every country I have one row and we have dates in different columns and then corresponding to that we have their counts. Now I need this data in this flat format where I have that country name then date and then their count and I need to have multiple rows for every country like this. Now to do this what I am going to do is I am going to create a new excel file and there I will be copying this input data and I will rename that sheet as input. So I copy this from the source file and paste it here in sheet 1 and I rename it as input. And I have also created another sheet, sheet 2 and I rename it as output. This sheet I will be using to have that converted data, right? And now I will be writing VBA code to do this data manipulation part. So I go to VBA editor and I insert a new module here. So to insert a new module what you need to do is you just need to right click and then you can go to insert and module. Now here you need to write your data pre-processing sub procedure. So I create a sub procedure named as data pre-processing. Now what we need to do in this sub procedure is we just need to iterate through each row of this excel input data one by one I mean for all the countries one by one right so we need to have a loop for i equals 2 I am saying because I want to start from second row and I want to go up to the last row which is having data so for that I use sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one will take me to the last row of this input file which is this cell right so it will take me to this cell because I have mentioned one that's me that means I'm talking about first column of the right now if I use dot end and excel up it will take me to this row right and I need to have that row number so I'll use dot row so this way I'll be able to iterate from second row till the last row which is having that country name and I use next to close that loop now if I go back to the data I can see that we have multiple days for every country right so that means for every country we need to have a loop in a loop I would say which would be picking up data for every date right so that means what I do here is I go inside that for loop and I add another loop let's say for j equals now the column number where I need to start is again second column because first column is having country name but I need to start from the dates only so 2 to last column again I don't know the column number so what I do is again sheet 1 dot cells now I want to talk about first row only so one comma columns dot count that will take me to the last column of this first row and then I want to come back to the left position so I use dot end excel to left right and then I need the column number so I use dot column so this will take me to the last column of first row and I use next to close this in a loop as well. Now I have the skeleton ready where I would be iterating through countries row first and then for every country I will be iterating through every date. Now I need to pick up values and then paste here in sheet 2. So for that I first create headers in the sheet 2. Here I have country, date and count as headers. Now for every insert I need to know the row number where I want to have data in sheet 2. So to calculate the last available row in sheet 2 I use lr equals sheet 2 dot cells again the same logic rows dot count comma 1 which will take me 
to the last row and then dot end excel up will take me to the last row having data and then I add one to it so that I find the blank row right so LR holds the last blank row where I can insert data now I need to write to these three cells of that row so sheet two dot cells LR comma one comma two comma three these three values I need to fetch right and these values I need to fetch from sheet one so for first one that is a country name I know that sheet one dot cells I comma one would be having that country name I is the row number and one is the column number so that's why it is holding the country name and I have that country name here right so for the second one I need the date now I know that date are always pre present in row number one only so sheet two dot cells one comma I need the column number now that column number is dynamic and it is controlled by variable j so one comma j would give me the date and for the count what I do is so here I need the count value so that will come from sheet one dot cells i comma j dot value now I have written the entire piece it will iterate through all the data it is time to run the code and it is still running and I can see some data here in the sheet as well it is completed now I can see here I have all the country names I have all the dates I and and I also have their count right so if I scroll down you will see that we have the data manipulated in this flat format now I can use this data as input and I can copy this source code from the git repository which I have mentioned in the description section of this video you can copy the code from there and put it in your Jupyter notebook and run the code and you will find that it will create this kind of animation for you right and you can visualize your data in this format right if you have any questions feel free to write to me I'll see you later thank you